welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will be showing you what you should do when you find a damaged spot in your ropes. Let's say for instance, I'm ascending my ropes after a break. Well, let's say after the weekend or the next work day, the rope's been hitting an edge, something, and it's damaged. I'm climbing up. I'm noticing that damage, so what should I do? So let's say, damaged part. I climb over, I climb a little bit higher, and it's my back up. All right. So what I do, I tie two butterfly knots where the damage is. Now how you tie it, it's totally up to you. There are several ways to do it. So I have my two butterfly knots with some long loops. And the length of the bite should be the same as the tail end of a, any knot. Figure of eight knot, whatever any knot, we want a bite that's long enough. So that's 10 to 20 times the thickness of the rope. So this is a bit longer, but I'm gonna need it later on. So normally the exercise starts from the descender, so that's where we get into right now. I'm coming down onto the ropes. Uh, sorry, I'm coming down onto the knots. And now I need to pass them. First things first, I switch back into my chest ascender. When I've done that, I descend onto the knot. Almost onto, not really, completely. And then I thread the rope into my descender underneath the knot. So as you can see, we have the chest ascender, we have the knot, and then we have my descender. I make it as close to each other as possible. I lock off the descender and I step out of my chest ascender. Here we go. So that's one. That's my main line, which has passed the knot. Now I need to pass the knot with my backup device. And the easiest way, be real about it, is get a second backup device, put it underneath, Take off the top one, and then you can descend back down. Hmm. So let's say I've got my new set of ropes. I need to reach the top to change them out. I climb up. I climb up until I reach the knots and I reverse what I just did. So I get into my descender. I keep climbing. I climb up against the knot. I open my chest descender, step up above the knot into the rope. And I've passed the knot with my main line. I keep my back up as high as possible. I don't want to climb any higher before doing anything with my back up. And again, easiest way, get a second back up device, put it above the knots, and you can take the bottom one off. And I can continue up. Before I show the second method, the one where you don't have a second backup device, let me tell you about Industrial Klimmen. Industrial Klimmen is the sponsor of this video and this whole series of videos. They provide me with the opportunity to come here, use the facilities and film all this awesome content for you. Industrial Klimmen is a company situated just above Amsterdam in the Netherlands where you can come for all your working at height related stuff. They provide GWO training, Irata training and any kind of working at high training in between. Also, if you need first aid training, fire awareness, manual handling, all that stuff, contact them and they will sort you out. There's a physical store next door. 
where you can come in and try all the climbing equipment. And if you're not able to make an impression, there's also a beautiful web shop. So if you have any questions, contact them through the link below. All right, I'm coming down on my ropes onto the nuts and I need to pass them, but I do not have a second backup device. What do I do? First part stays the same. I change back into my chest ascender. And again, there's multiple different ways to do this. And right now I will show you the most basic one. If you would like to see other ones, please leave a comment. And uh, I'll sort it out for you. We'll make a little video about it. So I've descended in my chest ascender onto the nuts. I thread the rope into my descending device. Step out of my chest ascender in my descender. So that's one sorted. So now I need to get my backup device below the knot. What I do is I tie another butterfly knot right below the one with the broken strand. I take a spare carabiner, and if I don't have one, I take my cow tail. So what have I done? I've tied a new alpine butterfly in the rope, and I've attached myself directly with the carabiner on my top D-ring. The same D-ring I have my backup device to. So now that I've done that, I've made essentially a second backup. So I can take this one off, put it in between the two knots, onto the rope. And I, when I've done that, I can clean up all the other stuff on the backup rope. I take out the alpine butterfly and I have passed the knots and I can descend back down like so. So using that same method I climb up the rope. When I reach the knot I change into my descender. Step up as high as possible. And in this case, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna manage my backup first and my main line second. So I tie a butterfly knot underneath the ASAP. Tie directly into it. So my fall distance is as short as possible. When I've done that, I double check it. I have a locked off carabiner. I have a properly tied butterfly. So I can move my backup device above the knot. When that is done, I can take out the temporary butterfly and I have passed the knot on my backup line. So now for the main line, fairly easy. Open up my chest ascender, step up into my chest ascender, above the knot. Take out the descender and continue my climb upward. All right, third and final way. I find the damage in the rope. I tie a butterfly knot with the damage in the middle of the bite. And then I tie an overhand knot in the middle of that, so the damage is here. That means that I can tie my cow tail directly in this one. All right. 
So what I do, all the other stuff is basically the same. The one thing that changes is how I manage my backup. I descend onto the nut. Change back in my descender, descend down until I right above the knot. Change back into my descender. So I only have the knot in between my ascender and my descender. I step out of my chest ascender into my descender. I have this beautiful little loop here, which I can tie my cow tail directly into. When I have done that, I can put my back up underneath the broken piece of rope, which I have isolated in the butterfly. And I can descend back down. If I'm climbing up, I climb up until I reach the nut, get into my descender, climb up against the nut, and I switch it around. So first, I attach my cow tail. In the isolated piece between the damaged part and the butterfly, between the overhand and the butterfly, lock off the carabiner, move my back up over the knot, and then take out my cow tail. Next step is attaching my chest descender above the knot, step up. Take out the rope of my descender and continue the climb. So that were three ways to pass the knots. I can think of two more ways. Do you know which ones? Leave it behind in the comments and I'll make a video on those techniques as well. All right? So stay tuned for the next video where we'll be changing over from one set of ropes into a new set of ropes. I will see you there. Stay connected.